All right, Milwaukee, I'm just saying, maybe you should add a version to where it's a half-inch anvil for this impact driver. You can get people to, uh, I'm just saying, So today what we are going to do is we are going to do a test video on uh, impact driver that I modified. So this is the Milwaukee quarter inch hex impact driver. This is model number 2853-20. This is the most powerful impact battery operated impact driver on the market. And I believe the most powerful impact driver on the market, period. But what I did is I put a half inch anvil on there. To do this, you actually need to sort of destroy the tool. Now, I actually had a drill... I had to drill out a little bit of uh, metal to be able to get this to fit through there. Now, this is designed for the quarter inch hex collet, which is actually smaller than the half inch anvil. So after drilling it out uh, and you uh, kept on seeing areas that needed to actually be uh, cut out, because of what we also did is we put a rounded file and we put that into a uh, drill and we just uh, went around and filed it down. We were able to get it down enough to, for the anvil to go in there nice and smooth. Now the downfall of doing this is, as you can see, there's a little bit of play in there. Now the anvil and the, the hammer and the anvil are against each other. As you can see, obviously, completely against each other like normal, but the actual shaft that the anvil goes on is a little smaller than the hole that the shaft goes into for the half inch anvil so that's why the, the, that's why that there's a tiny bit of play in there tiny bit now the other consequence is the quarter inch hex collet for this does not fit on the shaft to the stubby that's what this anvil is from is from the m18 stubby uh half inch of course and so those so you could swap this out into there with some drilling and then but you cannot use the same uh, you can't use a quarter inch collet on the, the stubby so but we did create a frankenstein and we got this so we're not going to go over specs i'll show you guys the model number and the body because it says impact driver on there so please don't blow up my comments saying that this is an impact wrench this is an impact driver all right the motor is slightly different and the gearing for the hammer is different because there are two completely different types of tools just based on the gear design and the gear ratio so uh, yeah, let's all uh, zoom in on this really quick and test this out. So like I said, this is model number 2853-20. As you can see, it says, it says impact driver. All right, this is not an impact wrench. All right, so, but we have a six amp hour battery on there. And as you can see the wobbling a little bit, that's the little wobble, which it's 100% in there. Uh, it's all the contacts are doing the right contacts. Like I said, just the shaft that goes that uh, the anvil slides onto is just a little smaller than the hole that it receives on this size of an anvil. So there is a slight bit of play, but not enough to even worry. And that's what we're going to test out as well in this video. What I want to do is since there is no extension, I want to see if speed could keep up with this bad boy we're gonna do a legit versus video in the in the future but right now i just want to uh we're gonna do some lags of this by itself and then uh we're at the end of the video we're gonna tighten some nuts up with this and see if this can bust it since it has no extension to use a socket so that's what we're gonna do this episode we are gonna test this bad boy out and see how well this does Alrighty, so we're gonna keep this test really simple we are gonna do one six inch lag one 10 inch lag one eight inch by five eighths inch lag and then we'll move on to this uh nut busting test and yes this this does have a friction ring anvil on there it is not a pin detent so we are going to start off with the six inch all right it is on speed three battery is at three bars we don't need a full bar uh full battery for this test ready go gotta be in all the way yep time that's a six inch so let's take that out ready go time all right let's do it the 10 inch next all right so 
Ready? Go. Time. That must have been a tough spot right there. Clamshell is together. Nothing is separating. Clamshell is good. Let's actually uh let's feel the temperature on that really quick. Is like that 10 inch lag is a nut buster. That 10 inch lag is a very hard task to do. 69, 68, 68 degrees for most of the area. All right, let's take this out. Then we'll do the five eighths by eight inch lag. All right, ready? Go. It is working. And like I said, what I did is I used the anvil from the M18 stubby. So if you want to modify it, if that's what you need to do, or that's what I did that worked, but like I said, you do need to drill out the, the hole so it will uh, go through. But it makes a big difference not having to have a quarter inch collet there with an adapter. It makes a big difference. All right, right here is good. All right, ready, go. Uh-oh, did it, it stopped. I'm amazed it cut out like that, but this is a hard task to do. Gotta give it props for doing it. Let's continue. Time, not bad. I'm surprised it cut out though, I am. I am surprised, but uh, nothing splitting. All the seams are still tight, so the clamshell is not separating. Yeah, it doesn't smell. It smells like a regular, regular working motor, because I did put fresh grease in there, uh, and so it's because I cleaned it out after all the metal shrapnel, like I cleaned it and put fresh grease. So let's take it out. Ready? Go. Time. That is, uh, let's see, look at that, smoking. Not the tool though, 91. Let's look at this side, 93, so it's like about 92, 93. So yeah, it's still, it's, the tool is getting warm, but these are, that's why I do these tests, because these are stre major stress tests. All right, so let's uh, bust some nuts. All right, so the battery is still at three bars. We are gonna use the new mid-range half-inch impact wrench. This is model number 2962-20. So yeah, these two. And then, then that, that actually should be it. That's hopefully my welds hold. All right, let's uh, tighten, up, tighten this up for a little bit. There we go. There we go. Yep. Tighten them up. Yep, that one's all the way. That one's all the way. Uh, this one's first, these two. All right, ready? Go. Guess it can't. All right, let's do this. Ready? Go. Yes, it can. 
That is powerful. Right, let's take these two out. Ready? Go. Yes, it can. This one as well. Ready? Go. Yes, it can. And my welds held up. Wow, so like that that drives me crazy. Right, it's stuck in there. I, I know what to do. There we go. All right, so as you guys can see, that completely changes the dynamics of the tool when it comes to power because you have a uh, direct contact with the hammer inside without an extension. So this tool probably is even more powerful. So I do not know what the specs are I with this anvil, if it actually does change the power. But from what I can see, like that's a 650 foot pound impact wrench that I... Uh, uh, that I just tightened that with. So these are probably at like 500 foot, 560 foot pounds. All right, I, I could have gone a little bit longer with the, those, but like this thing is a beast and it was able to dry, take those out. So yeah, so uh, I did mess up as you can see. I did, cause I put this on a vise and uh, it got loose. So what I found out it was easier, uh, my father-in-law helped me out. So I held the housing in my hand and he slowly drilled it, uh, the drill into the hole and then we were able to just uh grind it out afterwards because i would just hold it and it would just shred up the metal with it. and this didn't even move the metal just gave in immediately when it comes to shredding so we were able to safely uh put this uh put this anvil on so it's seriously awesome now i will need to get a new impact driver for this because this hole is too big for uh the quarter inch sex collet because since the, it is a uh, since it is a bit smaller, uh, this gap will leak grease, so I cannot use this collet. Uh, I cannot use this as an impact driver again. So this is stuck with a half inch anvil, but I have no problem buying another one of these. So these this is a, a, a this is an awesome tool. We are going to do a versus video between this and the impact wrenches to see if it act, this could actually hold up because this is powerful with speed. So. If you found this video helpful and entertaining, please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.